what's up guys today i'm going to teach you how to do a frontside disaster so i'm going to start out with kind of a cheater method to doing this trick so if you've ever tried to do a frontside disaster on a ramp you know they can be kind of hard to learn at first so i've got one tip to help you cheat at front disasters so normally when you're doing a front disaster you have to ollie turn the board a full 180 land and go in so an easier beginner way to do this is just kind of pivot on your front wheels and your nose land in the disaster and go back in i'll show you a few of them so you want to be comfortable riding a mini ramp first you want to know how to do front side 180s front side kick turns you also want to know how to do fakie disasters because fakie disasters are easier you just kind of pop up into it and learn to come out of it so to do this trick you're going to have your front foot right over the front bolts and your back foot on the tail so before you try to 180 into any kind of disaster you need to learn a regular disaster you have to be able to go up fakie pop and land with the coping in the middle of the board and you definitely have to know how to go back in so to go back in you're just taking your weight off your back wheels, pivoting on that coping, then putting all your weight on your front wheels, lifting the back wheels all the way up, doing a little nose manual in. That's really important before you ever try to do any of these other tricks. So before you try this on an actual mini ramp, you could try this on a bank ramp or a curb, something small where you're not gonna get hurt. You want to come kind of straight on if you if you don't want to slide because this is an easy trick to slide especially if you land on the board and you don't have the wheels touching on either side so the best way to learn these is to come up all the way up on the deck and just do a front side disaster where you land like decked out where the whole board is up on top of the deck the worst way is when you come up and your truck is barely over the coping because then it's it's way easier to hang up. You're really secure if you land up all the way up on the ramp at first. So like I said, with the fakie disaster, you need to learn how to land in a disaster and then put weight on your nose, lifting your back trucks up to roll in. Do a little nose manual into the ramp. It's It doesn't really feel like a nose manual. It's not that drastic. It's just like a little tic-tac into the ramp. It's just like doing a rock to fakie switch. So practice doing rock to fakie switch. Once you get that down, then it's really not that hard. When you're coming into this trick, you don't even actually have to ollie into this trick. You can just do a front side kick turn a little bit faster where your wheels pop over the coping, land in it, and come back in. Uh, after that, I feel like it's actually easier to, to pop a 180 and really 180 and pop into it with the front side with back side i feel like it's easier to just kind of to kick turn and fall into it but front side i feel like when you're doing that you could over rotate a little bit at first so i would i like ollieing into them so don't come at it at a really steep angle or you're gonna go into a lip slide you're gonna actually slide it make sure the coping is not covered in wax because then you'll slip out doing a front side disaster this is a trick you don't really have to explain because if you're really good at frontside 180s and you're really good at doing a frontside air or frontside 180 on the ramp, it's going to be easy. It's going to be an easy, simple extension of that. But if you're not really good at frontside 180s and you can't do a frontside 180 in a mini ramp, then you shouldn't try to do this trick because this trick requires you to know how to do a frontside 180 pretty much above the coping in the mini wrap. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. <laughs>